welcome back welcome back to another episode of hgv talks i don't even know how long it's been since i've done an episode of this probably been like a month at least um i don't really have anything to like continue off of right now just gonna kind of yellow it um i had camping and then my friend was visiting um I'm trying to see Three weeks ago. All right, so it's been three weeks. Oh, it's gonna be close to a month by the time this one uploads. But uh, yeah, I am continuing to be busy. Still just with all the things going on. Like I said, camping. I was doing camping for like five days. And then my friend was visiting, you know, kind of last minute. He was here for like a week almost. Uh, my wife had a vacation, which she's coming back from tonight. So I got to drive up to Boston to get her there. Um, yeah, that and just trying to keep up with regular uploads. It's still just been kind of a kind of a chaotic couple weeks um, with busyness. But it is what it is. You know, got to keep rolling with it. Uh, Soul Link's cruising along. The yellow legacy playthroughs going really well. People seem to really enjoy it. So, you know, everything's looking good. We've got a new camera angle since the last upload. I don't think I might have had the PC set up during the last episode. I don't know for sure if I did, but if I didn't, well, got my new PC set up. And while my friend was here, we did, he, he likes doing like cable management and like make the, make the whole setup look a lot better he did a great job uh we did you know rewire managed everything and got two new monitors because monitors i had were all old and you can see right there that monitor right there bought it for like 80 bucks on a open box or clearance shelf at best buy like when i first started streaming like eight years ago or something like that if you go to my YouTube and go to my oldest videos, my very first video I uploaded, which was six years ago, probably coming up on seven. It was my first YouTube video I ever did. Um, that was where I was sitting on a couch and I had a laptop set up with my Elgato like capture card. And that's how I was streaming was on my TV and playing on my Xbox with a little capture card. And I set up my stream that way. My very first YouTube video, which has 62 views. Uh, that was recorded without a monitor. I didn't have a monitor yet. And my very next video that I had uploaded, I had the monitor. So that's when I got that one. And I've been rocking with it since. Uh, how long into this did I get this chair? It wasn't long. Um, I see a video I posted at five years ago. It was uh, another Fortnite video. I have it on there. So somewhere between the first year I got this chair. And I have a ton of ton of content uploaded. It was just sort of like random like YouTube things I was doing from time to time. Then I started a Red Dead Redemption playthrough, which only got to like the ninth episode or tenth episode. Oh wait. Actually got to fourteen episodes of that. Wow, that's crazy. Fourteenth episode only has seven views, so in the 12th only has four. So like a lot of people weren't watching those playthroughs, but was still again just trying to do my get YouTube going. Uh one of my Fortnite videos from that that from back then has one and a half thousand views. It's one of my highest I have two videos. They have the Kansas City Chiefs skin. And two of those videos are still like some of my highest viewed videos. Which is kind of funny now. But anyway, getting off topic here. So we got the new monitors. Got the setup looking really good. Camera is obviously in a different position now. Um, I might change it. I might lower it again. I don't know. I'm kind of like torn on if I like this new angle or not. Uh, I feel like the camera looks so much better. And I don't know if it's like something with my settings or whatever it is. If the PC like is running better and can handle my camera quality or get more out of it. If it. I don't know if it looks so much better or what, but something about it looks great. So I don't know. Things are looking good on that front, at least. Um, I 
obviously like with everything going on with camping and my friend visiting and all this stuff, it's just been like my, my same issue I've always complained about was like, you know, having a slump in the health department. You know, I did some meal prepping and I was eating okay, but it's like, you know, too many nights with him here. We're still up till two, three in the morning, drinking, watching anime and just being kind of going back to like how it was when we were, you know, younger, you know, around our high school time or when we first got out of high school before we went to the military, you know, we would just hang out every night, play video games and have some drinks. And, you know, it's been almost 15 years since we've done that. So we kind of wanted to just go back to that for a little bit, you know, and have a little degenerate week of relaxation. And it was, it was good. It was definitely, you know, mentally refreshing, but it wasn't physically refreshing. It was physically draining. And then, uh, just trying to recover from that after the camping trip, which was physically and mentally draining, just got me, got me exhausted. But my wife comes back tonight which I'm excited for, obviously. Um, definitely miss her. It's the longest we've ever gone, you know, without seeing each other since she went on this trip for a week. So it'll be nice to have her back. And, yeah, just be good to get back on track with just life. You know, like, I'm a rhythm guy. I need to be consistently, you know, doing things. Like, I need to get into a routine for, like, me to really have success with stuff. The more like the more variation in my day to day, the more like trouble I have like being positive or feeling like I'm being productive enough or you know, like I just feel like if I'm not doing things consistently, I do them all terribly. So for me to get the most out of my most out of my day and the most you know productivity or efficiency like I feel like when I'm not being efficient I feel like I'm being a failure and it just gets to me sometimes so when I have these weeks where I'm drinking and staying up late not getting good sleep and not working out like I just feel like complete garbage and then it just adds up and snowballs into feeling absolutely terrible so trying to turn that around and um just yeah get back on track I don't know. Don't really know how else to put it. Uh, and I got, if you guys look, if you're watching this, to, bam, that's my old PC right there. And the box on top of that is the dies for the tie-dye shirts. So Misha's getting back this week. Well, she's getting back today, obviously. So I'm going to find out what day off she has this week. And I'm going to plan a stream so we can dye those shirts because I want to get those shipped out. I feel, it, it's something that always, I told everybody, don't worry about the giveaways. So you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to feel guilty. I said I'd get to them when I get to them. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get those done, get them shipped out soon. I'm going to have to get a bunch of people's information, the people that, like, won. I have, most of the people that won, I do have their information from previous giveaways, but there are some new uh, some new donators from the most recent subathon that got to the, got to the threshold of a giveaway. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome. You know, it's been a crazy time. We were kind of talking about doing another subathon. Uh, I was kind of joking about doing one while Michelle was gone and never really ended up having the time to do it or the energy to do it. But I was talking about doing one for like 10 seconds of sub just to like see what would happen. But I don't want to do that. That feels, that feels way too horrible. Uh, I, if I was to do another sub, I thought I'd probably do one minute per sub. Uh, again, that's what I did the first two went like two or three days or four days on the longest one. And I mean, if we did one minute per sub, for the last subathon, it would have been three weeks. It would have been over three weeks of streams, you know, at that rate, which is still insane. If I did 30 seconds of sub, the last subathon would have gone like 12 days or 11 days or something like that. So it's like, we'll see. I'll have to figure it out. I don't, I don't expect every subathon to be the same or always grow. You know, my first subathon did twice as much as my my second subathon did half, and then my third subathon did double what my first one did or something crazy like never really know how it's gonna go um so yeah i just gotta kind of risk it and try to find a time per sub and how many hours i'm gonna stream per day and try to find uh a rate at which 
I'm comfortable with. And, you know, oh, hi, ZZ. What's up, buddy? It's nice that there's no uh, PC on the floor anymore to put the PC up on the desk. So now he can't roll around and pull on all the wires. Huh, how's that feel, bud? Now you can't mess up my stream. You can just roll around my toes and I don't care. Uh, but yeah, I'll figure out I'll figure out something to do for a subathon. I'll try to find a time frame where I might want to do another one. And you know, see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um What else? What else? I mean, I wasn't I don't really ever talk about politics or anything like that, but it's kind of hard to ignore the fact that like, I don't know, 10 20 minutes ago, uh, apparently uh Trump got shot at. And he got hit in the ear. And everyone's saying it was a BB gun or something. I don't know. I guess you guys will hear more about it by the time this comes out. I mean, because it literally just happened. So I'm only hearing the initial things. It was only like his ear got hurt. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out what happens. Hopefully everyone's okay. I mean, he looks fine from what I see. But um, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's crazy. Um, hopefully, everyone's fine. That's all I can say. This is just a wild, wild time to be alive, man. <laughs> wild time to be alive. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny. Like, you see, like, the presidential, like, debates from previous races, and it's, like, before Trump, and it's, like, just so civilized and just professional and you know and it's like how far we've come it's crazy it's crazy i don't know i try to stay out of it i live in massachusetts democrats win massachusetts every year no matter what so it's like i don't i don't feel super <laughs> inclined to get too involved but it is what it is um what else is going on this week not really much. Like I said, it's going to be just super trying to get back into the flow of things. Obviously, I've been off a couple weeks of getting this video done because, I mean, last Sunday, what, the first Sunday I missed while I was camping. The Sunday after that, I missed. I think I just missed it, honestly. I think I, like, Sunday came and went, and I was like, oh, shoot, I didn't actually do my, sub my podcast. But then the next week, my, uh, I brought my wife to the airport at two in the morning on Sunday and we went to a bounce house the night before. So I was like trying to get re stuff recorded and uploaded, but just didn't have time for it. So getting back to it, I want to, I really just want to have like, man, I haven't had a good week in a while. And I posted a, one of my podcast videos. I literally said like, I had a good week or I said another good week that was on the beginning of June. So the end of June and the beginning of June, I mean the end of May and the beginning of June, I had like a good, like two weeks, maybe three weeks. I started doing, I did like five K's and like, we had a pretty good little couple weeks going. And then like the last like three, four weeks have just been like, just, just terrible, just terrible. So we're moving on and you know, the YouTube playthroughs are still, Still in the thick of it. We still got a lot to do in both of them, the Soul Link and the Yellow Legacy. So no, you know, updates on what's next. Um, Mac and Twill had talked about wanting to try doing some sort of like three person Soul Link or something like that. So we might look into some sort of idea that that's super, super just first conversations just started happening. Highly doubt we'll be able to pull it off but i'd be down to might be a live stream thing not a re pre-recorded thing um i don't know we'll figure something out uh any other games i'm trying to play right now i started playing elden ring i did a couple streams of it but i started playing it offline when my friend was here because he downloaded it too we like we're kind of just hanging out together and playing it and you know a couple bosses we co-opted it and you know jumped in to help each other with certain dungeons and whatnot um, and I had a lot of fun with it. I thought I would have just wanted to go live. Like, I'm not worried about spoilers with the game. So I wasn't like worried about like backseat gaming playing it, but it's like at the same time, I had so much fun playing a game and just being lost. Like the Stormvale castle, whatever it is, it's like one of the first main areas of the game, like 
going through it and like dying a bunch of times and getting to new checkpoints and trying to find the different items that are there and just whatever. Like I, I, and then if I really needed to, if I really wanted to, I could just Google the information if I feel like I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, but I really didn't. I didn't really have to, you know, I just kept looking around and I was like, I, had, I haven't done that in so long. I haven't had a game where like I can just play it and fully experience it like the way I want to without other people saying how I should play it or what items I should use or where I should go to get a good item or where I should, you know, if I get lost or I'm stuck at a spot, like just giving me the answer right away, you know, like, so it felt good to not have all that background noise while playing a game. It's, and Elden Ring's just beautiful, like graphics and everything. So, and it's a fun challenge and it's something that it's, I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed doing it off stream. So I think I'm just going to keep that off stream. Um, I've said on stream that I might do like a, a playthrough of it after I beat it, like after I'm kind of done with it on a playthrough of my own, maybe during a subathon or something like that, I'll try to do like a challenge ish type run of it or just a different build. Just so like I've had the experience, the raw experience of it myself. And then like I could run through it again. If I want to try a different build or something like that, I can do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's been fun. Uh, me and Matt could talk about some doing some racing games or something like that, but kind of hard to find one that we've been able to like agree on that would like work. But that's always still an option. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If you guys got any ideas of like what you want to see, either from YouTube or from live streams, I'm having a lot of fun with the Iron Man right now. We're actually on a run with a Suicune that is pretty freaking good. And I think it has potential to actually win it. But I mean, I've had a lot of Mons that had potential to win it and they die, but we're like, we got seven badges. So hypothetically, if we did beat this playthrough with this Suicune I'm probably gonna do I really I'm feeling the itch to do Radical Red Nuzlocks again um whether or not I want to do them live I don't know because it's something I can't stream Radical Red for more than like two hours I want to say and I noticed that with Shady Penguin Shady Penguin has been doing like a lot of Radical Red recently again and I noticed he always does like two hours and I've heard him say in his thing, like he, it'll be like, he'll have an hour to an hour and a half clean, no deaths, well done. And then like towards the end, he'll have like one last important battle. He'll try getting done before an extreme. And that's when he'll make a mistake. And I was like, that's why I can't, I don't want to stream it. Cause I like streaming for like, at least like, I like to do like three hours is like my minimum goal for a stream. And with radical red after like an hour to an hour and a half, I start feeling like mentally kind of checked out from it. So unless I can find, I don't know. Got, I got to find a way to either make it more bearable to do longer streams of it, or I'll do kind of what I used to do where like I do the switch sports golf or something for a little bit, spend like a half hour on that and then jump into radical red and then or I finish with the golf at the end. I kind of like doing it at the beginning just to get me up moving around. So maybe I'll start doing that again. Or I've thought about, I haven't talked about this on stream at all, I don't think yet, but um, I've thought about bringing back the like workouts for subs thing. That's something people used to love, like random days, just like someone sends 10 subs, I could do like 10 push-ups or whatever. I mean, remember how I used to do it. It was... I think it was before I was doing like on, I was doing like it with stars. So it was like, I don't know, however it was, but I was thinking about doing something like that again. That was cause it's kind of just like a fun way to break up the stream and get me moving. And it helped with, you know, playing a Pokemon game that like, you know, does locking it for two hours, you know, can kind of with no break can kind of just drain you too quickly. So maybe getting those workouts mixed in between could be, a fun way to keep it active and keep me fresh during it. I don't know. We'll see. That might be something that comes back. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up with that. I'm going to really hope I can keep these going for a couple weeks. I don't have anything really planned until like mid to late August. So like another month from now, I'm going to be going away for a couple days for my anniversary. 
So if like the next month, next like 30 days to 35 days should be pretty clear. So I'm hoping I can have a nice push and get something going. So um, leave some comments down below if you got any suggestions of games you want to see or YouTube playthroughs, like I said. Uh, and I will, or if you got any other questions about anything in general, if you want me to talk about it. I don't think we had any comments on the last video. I actually should check that before we wrap up because we might have. And I haven't looked in a while. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, Benny just asked if I was doing like what kind of camping it was. It was in a tent and everything like that. And my favorite camping activities. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. I kind of like just doing nothing when I go camping. Just sitting around and relaxing. Getting away from all the noise of this job. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't have a crazy playing some like can jam, some games like that. Having some drinks with friends. It's kind of just the general camping activities I like to do. But yeah. Wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next one.